the English department is actually located in D Block, uh, which is above the art corridor and above the, the canteen. Uh, we are somewhere away from the entrance, but we are worth the walk. We have um, a number of different things that are going on in the classroom. So each classroom has books that you can access and be able to use and obviously all the other resources. We have purchased quite a lot of iPads that are available for pupils to use in, in classrooms. We have one of our rooms that's got a computer suite in it that's used quite, by quite a lot um, of pupils. So in general, in terms of physical um, facilities and resources, that's the kind of things we have in English. We have eight classrooms, so that's enough for one of each of the staff that we have, which we're quite lucky that you know nobody has to share in those things. So everybody in the school takes English at some point, as opposed to other subjects where you get course choices, um, people are kind of forced into taking English whether they like it or not. We assume that people enjoy wanting to take English. So from at least to the end of fourth year, every pupil that comes through the school will take English. And then when we get into fifth year, we still have quite a high intake. Um, so for example, last year, I think we had 130 pupils taking English, whereas in some subjects they've maybe, maybe only got about 30. Our advanced hire is quite large compared to other schools, but again, and other departments, but I think we were about 22 or something last year for advanced hire. But no, at some point we see everybody, so we get to know everybody, which is a lovely part of, of the, the, you know, the subject that we have. We want everybody to have a positive experience when they're here, and generally a positive learning experience. I'm very much of the idea that as teachers that we're all learning all the time anyway, whether it's about pupils, some kind of thing about popular culture that we did not know before, um, or something about our own learning. So as English teachers especially, you know, we're always adapting and always kind of changing. What we want people to supposed to come out of English feeling comfortable and confident about things. So our expectations are that, you know, they, they at least give it a go and they try things. I really love the light bulb moment when I see somebody in the class suddenly get it and they go, okay, I now understand it. And it, maybe it's taken a little bit of time, maybe it's taken a long time, but they suddenly feel, oh yes, I can do that. Or even the other moment where they suddenly go, oh, I really like doing that. Like it's a big surprise to them. And, and that's the most enjoyable part, I think for most teachers, but it's the one I really, really enjoyed. Having someone feel as though they've achieved and, and done something. I love reading and getting to do that every day, but I really enjoy the interactions with, with the pupils every day because I find it's all immensely interesting and generally quite funny and you, you keep me very much amused. So that's the things that I, I, I love, a different point of view and, and really seeing you a lot every day.